versions 1703 and 1709. Windows Server 2016, Windows 8.1, and Windows 7 follow nearly identical steps, but each of those operating systems has an extra task I will not be covering. Please refer to the Knowledge Base article, KB 407 2698, for servers, and KB 407 3119 for clients for the additional details needed to configure those systems. With the patch applied, your first step would be to install the PowerShell script speculation control. To do so, you will right click on your start menu and choose the PowerShell admin option. You will type in the following command install module speculation control. If this is your first time installing this particular script, you will get two prompts. The first one asking if you're sure you want to install the script, and the second one detailing that the TechNet site we're pulling from is not a trusted site by default, and are we sure we want to trust it? I am receiving that second prompt at this time that I am pulling from the untrusted TechNet site and am I sure that I trust it? Yes, you will answer yes to both prompts you receive. With the module now installed, we have to change the execution policy, otherwise the script will not run. So you will type in set dash execution policy and set it to unrestricted. You will be told that this is uh, unwise, which is true. It is best to run scripts that are digitally signed. But of course, there are numerous reasons that you might need to run an unsigned script, and this just happens to be one of those cases, so we will confirm with a yes. Now that that has been done, you can type in git speculation control settings and hit enter. The top section, which is here corresponds to the Spectre mitigation. Unless your system has received a firmware update in January of 2018 or later, you will not find this protection enabled. For older systems, much like this third gen core, aka Ivy Breach system I'm recording from, we will never see the needed firmware update. This bottom segment covers the meltdown patch. This will enable regardless of the age of your firmware or CPU. That said, this bottom line will have a different output depending on the age of your CPU. For Haswell and newer systems, this bottom line, which corresponds to a hardware acceleration for the Meltdown patch, will say true. For systems that are Ivy Bridge and older, it will say false. Now, let's change the enabling and disabling of the mitigation. In this case, we're going to cut the mitigation off, but I will also show you how to create a script to turn the mitigation back on. We will turn to our client knowledge base article and scroll all the way to the bottom. There it is. Those are the items we need. So, we will open up Notepad. We will copy the two lines corresponding to disabling the fix. You'll paste them in. You'll choose File, then Save As. We're going to save to our desktop. You're going to set the Save As type to All Files. You will set the name to quote KPTI underscore off dot bat. And then you will place an end quote. That's a key item. If you do not put those quotes, it will not save properly. You'll go ahead and save that, and that completes turning it off, the batch file for turning it off. We will now open up a new text file, and we'll grab the settings for turning it on. We'll go ahead and paste this in. Same steps. Save as to all files, and that quote kpti underscore on dot bat. 
and save that as well. All right. With the settings, uh, the batch files now created, we can modify by simply right clicking onto KPTI off and choose to run as administrator. You must run this as an administrator. This change is being made to the registry under HKEY local machine. That is an admin only accessible area. With the script now having been run, you will need to reboot in order to complete the change. You can use your Git speculation control setting script to validate that this now says false, that the meltdown patch is disabled. With that now disabled or enabled, whichever item you needed to change, you can choose to uninstall the speculation control using the uninstall dash module space speculation control command. You'll also want to remember to set the execution policy, the set dash execution policy, back to restricted. That's all it takes to manage the meltdown patch. I hope you found this helpful. Take care.